I'm Rosie Batista and I'm Sleeping Naked After 40 and I'm here today on behalf of eHub.com to bring you a very simple amazing recipe with the amazing avocado. So what I'm making today is a very quick beet citrus salad, beet citrus avocado salad. So what I have here are roasted beets which are very easy to do. You just buy the beets, scrub them up, cut the tops off and just bake them in the oven like you would a sweet potato. You can actually either put them in tin foil and bake them or just leave them on a pan and bake them until they're soft enough to pierce with a fork. And then you let them cool down and you slice them up. You can also buy beets that are already um, done for you. So that's what I did. I cheated a little bit. So I have my beets already chopped up and boiled or roasted. And I'm just going to throw them on top of my arugula. So you can see I'm already starting to create a beautiful color here with the purple of the beets and the greens of the arugula. And then I took an orange and I just peeled the orange and um, cut it into sections and I'm going to put that on top. So we have orange and red and it's gorgeous. So beets are really, really good for your blood and avocado is really, really good for your heart. So we have the most amazing healthy recipe with just three ingredients. I mean, it's really that simple. So right now I'm just scoring the sides of the avocado to separate it from the shell. And I'm going to just score into it so I can get it into squares, simply like that. And then I'll gently just spoon it out with a spoon and dump it onto my salad. I always want to put the avocado last because it's so fragile that when you're, you know, if you're sticking it under stuff, it can get a little bit mushy, but it tastes good mushy, but you want it to look really pretty. So we'll just leave it like that. And then we have, look at the beautiful colors of that, right? And the more colorful you make your salad, the better it is for you because you're getting all the different phytochemicals and nutrients from all the different foods. So then we're going to put a very simple dressing. And we're going to take just um, a regular prepared mustard. You can pick out, I love to pick out just different, fun, different ones. So I'm just going to take about two tablespoons of mustard and then I'm going to take the juice from half of an orange. So I'm going to cut the orange in half and I have this handy dandy tool that I it really works well and it's really simple. So you just stick it into the middle of the orange and you twist and I have all my orange juice fresh right out of the orange. And then I take my little whisker and I'm going to whisk that together. And you can adjust according to your taste. If you like a little bit spicier, you might want more mustard. And here I think it's a little bit, I put a little much mustard, so I'm gonna use the other part of the orange to make it a little bit more, um, to, to just soften it up a little bit. And I whisk that. And that's it. This is a simple, simple, you know, if you're looking to drop a few pounds, lose weight, get healthy, you don't need to make your dressing so complicated. That's where we get really stuck with salads because the dressing usually has double the amount of calories and maybe even a burger or something like that. So now we have this plain, simple, delicious, refreshing dressing and we'll just drizzle it right on top of our beautiful, colorful salad like that. They also like to serve things in white bowls because they look so amazingly gorgeous. And you know, you eat with your eyes as well as your stomach. So the more satisfied you are by just looking at something that's so gorgeous like this, the more satisfied you'll be when you eat it. Ciao for now.